welcome to another episode of Ben's Works. Today on the show, I'm building an arcade cabinet. Now when I first decided to make this build, I actually wasn't going to film it. I decided, you know what, I had no plan in mind, so I figured, how can I build something that I had no idea how I was going to do it. So, as you can see, at the start, I took a few photos, and with those photos, I started to get a direction of where I was going. Once I sort of had an idea of where I was going, I started to do a bit of filming, because at least then I had something to show you guys. Now I'm just going to take these back pieces off, just so I can show you a bit of the inside and what I did. So I've got the back off now, and you can pretty much see how simple this build is. It's basically an old LCD TV that I mounted in here, just using the original mounts uh, right there and just a piece of wood as a brace. My Raspberry Pi, I've just zip tied it down here, nice and easy. Uh, a power board just to run a couple of powers, but uh, apart from that, it's so basic. Now, my controller, which is mounted on the front there, you can see how I built that in one of my previous videos. That's just mounted in there, plugged into the Pi, and that's all you need. It's as simple as that. So now you've had a quick look inside. Let's watch the rest of the video, see how I did the paint, the stickers, and finished it all off. So these speakers were a bit of an afterthought. It wasn't until I'd had it all masked up and, and uh, undercoated that I realised that the sound probably isn't the best because the speakers are under the TV, under all this wood. So I've got these speakers, and I'm going to mount them up here. And then I've got this grill to put over the front of it, so... Hopefully that works out. So what I thought I'd do was replace the existing uh, TV speakers, which are under this grill. And you can see here, I've already pulled one out. This was the old uh, speaker that was in the TV. So I ripped that one out. I've extended the wires. And this is what we're going to mount. This is a, a Sony speaker I've got. So that's going to be mounted up there in the front. grills are in bit of fiddling around but that's the problem when you make design changes after the fact and I'm not working off any plans so it's all just uh, making it up as I go along it's getting there here's a bit of a tip for you if you go to your local hardware store and you need some paint and you don't actually mind what color you get uh, I found this on the uh, clearance for 15 bucks because it was mist tinted but it was very close to the color I want and actually just tinted it a bit darker for me as well so there's a bit of a tip if you want some cheap paint just look on clearance if the color doesn't matter too much yeah because I'm spraying this I'm just going to water it down a little bit just to make it go through the gun a bit easier doesn't look too bad okay second coat is all dry time to peel it all off and hopefully we didn't get any paint anywhere Now I'm going to install this switch. I'm going to install it just at the top here. Little off on switch. And I have an IEC plug, a fused one, that I'm just going to mount down the bottom there somewhere. So that's the next step. Time to make some stickers. Ok, 
Okay, we are going to attempt a multicolor sticker. We're starting with black as our base. Next layer is white. And the final color, yellow. Okay, so we're going to start with the top layer first. Now for the next layer. Now it's time to put the final layer down. I'll spray a bit of soapy water down first to help position it. Okay, once you got it in position, just squeeze all that water out. And there's your sticker ready to apply, so let's put it on. And there's your finished sticker. These are the stickers I ordered from the UK, marquee stickers. This is actually a marquee sticker, which I'm using for my uh, keyboard button layout. So it should look pretty good. So here's a look at the stickers I made up for it. I didn't go overboard on it. Uh, I can come back later and cut some more if I need to, but just for now, just to uh, take the bareness off the side there. So it looks quite good. There's the marquee sticker that I turned into the keyboard sticker and there's the Double Dragon one up there. So a couple of my favorite games, Double Dragon, Street Fighter. Uh, they turned out quite good. Also got a Mario Brothers one. I just got that off eBay for like three bucks. It's one of those repeal ones, but seems to stuck on there quite good. I'm quite happy with that. So like I said before, I actually didn't mean to make a video on this one. Uh, it was just gonna be something I was gonna do in the background and not really record, but when it started to come together, I felt you know it was gonna be a good project worthy of making a video. So I went along and started filming. So I apologize for the start, but basically it's just, uh, 12 mil MDF that I, I cut the shapes out, nailed them together with a bit of glue, and then as you can see, the TV was mounted in there, and uh, Raspberry Pi, and that's really all there is to it. And the controller, which I made in a previous video, that's just screwed to the front here, and, and it's all open underneath, so if ever I need to do anything with the buttons or joysticks or anything like that, it's all easy accessible, so um, that's pretty much it. So there it is guys, my version of the arcade cabinet. Now this one is a bit narrower than normal cabinets, uh, that's because I needed it to fit in a certain space, so you build these to whatever specs you need, uh, and that way they suit your needs. So with this one I put a little light up here just to highlight it a little bit, uh, just a USB light, nothing too fancy. Two pieces of acrylic at the top here and down the bottom, just to protect these stickers that I got. I did uh, have the holes for the buttons all laser cut. Someone did that for me uh, and it turned out quite good. So I'm really happy with this build. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it too. Like and subscribe if you want and I'll catch you next time.